Hi guys, in the other video we learned how to graph sine of x. Well, look how easy, now that you know how to graph sine of x, it is to graph sine of 4x or 3x or any number times x. Look how easy this is going to be. Remember, the key points are going to be in the unit circle. I remember that this is 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2. And I remember that cosine is x and the sine is y. So the values that I need to concentrate are the y values in the unit circle. Now, I'm going to make this is x and this is y. The first step is to find out the amplitude. Well, the amplitude here is also 1. So my amplitude is going to be the absolute value of 1, which is just 1. Now the period, remember, is 2 pi divided by the number that is multiplying the x. In this case, this is 4. So 2 pi over 4 is the same as pi over 2. Also remember, the domain is all real numbers. This is for the sign. And in this case, the range, since the amplitude is 1, remember this is going to be from negative 1 to 1. So this is the basic of the function. Now, how do I find the key points? Well, let's go ahead and start. The first step is to figure out the x values. When we had the regular sine of x, we put 0, then we did pi over 2, then we did pi, we basically went like this, 0, pi over 2, pi, and the next one was 3 pi over 2. Well, look what you're going to do. I know that 4x is going to be equal to these values. So, you're going to go ahead and do 4x equals to 0. So, when you divide by 4, you're going to have that x is just equals to 0. Now, 4x equals to pi over 2. Well, I divide by 4, and I do the same to the other side. I divide by 4, and I get that x is equals to pi over 8. Now, this is going to be pi over 8. Now, pi... And again, I do the same thing, 4x equals to pi, and this is x equals to pi over 4. So this is pi over 4. And finally, 4x equals to 3 pi over 2, which is going to be x equals 3 pi over 8. So basically, in order to graph any other function that does not have only an x, but it has a number in the front, you just grab whatever you have here and make it equal to these values. That way you can figure out your values for x. So I forget about these values and these are gonna be my uh, these are gonna be my values 0, pi over 8, pi over 4, 3 pi over 8. The y values are not gonna change because look my amplitude is still 1. The y values will change if I had a different amplitude which we're gonna be doing in another exercise. So let's do it. 0 when, uh, when the angle is 0, remember, just look at the y values. This is going to be 0, then just 1, and then this repeats over and over 0. And then this is just going to be negative 1. Now, let's go ahead and graph our functions. And let me just go ahead and erase this piece right here. And we can go ahead and just graph our sine of 4x. We now have the key points. We have 0, 0, pi over 8, 1, pi over 4, 0, and 3 pi over 8, negative 1. So now I go ahead and I graph it and I go back to this and let's do it. So I just put my graph like this and this is 0, 0. Then pi over 8, so I just put it here, pi over 8, then pi over 4, and then 3 pi over 8. Oh, and I forgot the last point, which is 2 pi. And remember, what I just do is 4x equals to 2 pi, and this is going to be equals to 2 pi over 4, so 2 pi over 4, which is the same as pi over 2. So this is the last one, pi over 2. Then I go ahead and put 1, then I put negative 1, and let's do it. So it goes up, then it goes down, then it goes like this, and then it goes up. And here you have all your key points. So conclusion, if you have here, let's say 3x, 
you will do 3x equals to 0, 3x equals power over 2, and you figure out your values for x. Let's say that you have x over 4. Well, you just do x over 4 equals to 0, and then x over 4 equals to pi over 2, and so on. So it is very easy. Once you understand the basics, you can actually just graph any sine function. And that's it. Please don't forget to watch our other videos. Also remember, you can Skype with us. And also, thanks so much for learning.